steady, good boy type thing, rather than let's go. Especially bareback. Now granted, when I first got him, he was skin and bones, and he was extremely uncomfortable to sit on bareback. I mean, he still kind of is, but he's definitely grown out a lot. Look at the little bird. And filled out more, so he's not as uncomfortable. But there are still, he still has quite a bony spine. But I also have a bony butt, so either way. And if you guys notice my attire today, I just have on some skinny jeans and my rubber <coughs> horse print boots because it is so muddy and they're easy to work in they're comfortable and i just take them off in the garage and don't have to worry about tracking mud in the house because obviously that's a big no-no and we're just riding in the western bridle i haven't been putting the english one on him for a while just because i don't really have a reason to they're both they have a little bit different bits on them but nothing like major <clears throat> he really wants to go out of the pasture that's our house right there in case you didn't know and that's my aunt's house so we're literally right across the driveway from her so it helps to be able to take care of her and all of that right there that you see is what used to be farmland now it's just giant houses where maybe two people or a single family live in and there's spaces for more but nobody else has bought any more for years and years but i'm thankful for this little patch of ground that i still have and, and i can keep a horse on it right outside my door it's always been a dream of mine especially for my health it's easier to walk outside take care of him walk back in versus um you know driving somewhere taking care of the horse driving back when i don't feel 100 percent and this way my grandfather can help take care of him whereas you know anywhere else it's my sole responsibility and if i'm having a bad day health wise the last thing i really want to do which sounds bad but it's true is take care of a horse because they do require more care than a dog or a cat and for those of you horse owners out there or horse lovers you know what i'm talking about the hay the feed the grooming the exercise come on <coughs> and just the fact that they're giant animals in general so they're they take a toll on you strength wise i mean granted you shouldn't be pushing and pulling on a 1200 pound animal i mean they should go with you willingly, but it's just the sheer mass of them takes up a lot of a lot of energy and strength on my part. See, there's all kinds of little mini things, and he's just walking right through them. I love that he does this, because my previous horse hated any kind of water. He didn't mind a bath, but he would not step in a puddle. He would not step over like the smallest little thing of water he hated it and so i'm glad that uno plays in it and likes it i think it's adorable and it'll come in handy if we go on trail rides where we have to go through water i don't have to worry about him refusing to go unless he decides to just refuse just to get on my nerves that day you know how horses are and if you don't well you're missing out Good boy. Alright, let's go. This is the farthest end we've gotten. Good boy. Good boy. That is so fun, guys. And the fact that he just chills and goes right through it that makes me proud because that means when i first got him he wouldn't get in it <coughs> and now he likes it he'll just walk right in that means he's learning to trust me more and know that 
whatever I take him to won't hurt him. It looks like you've been galloping through here or something. I see some stretch marks, stretch marks, scuff marks in the grass. You're such a good boy. Say so yeah, but I like to keep you on your toes. I understand that. <coughs> I hope I'm getting some good footage here guys I got my phone out to look <coughs> make sure so I think I'll ride up through here one last time, take him back to the water for a minute, and then go. It's been almost 20 minutes now because I've started filming before I even got up. Well, once I got on, that is. And he's just a tripping and everything today. Usually that means they need their feet done or they're clumsy. In his case, he needs his feet done, and he's a little clumsy, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. You're just a little bit. You're like me. But I enjoy riding. I really do. I definitely need to do it more often. It's good for my lungs my muscles, my well-being. I love <clears throat> having this, the camera and the headband go on my helmet, because yes, I am wearing my helmet, guys. <clears throat> because that means that I'm getting stronger, staying healthy, and I love it. Love, love, love it. Come on. Good oh boy. Oh. All right now. All right. You've had your fun. See? Unpredictable. <laughs> You got me splashed. <coughs> All right, big boy. All right. My legs are crying because <laughs> I've been holding on for dear life. <coughs> We'll go back in. Oh boy. And then in here is where I groom and tack up 
It's like my little mini barn. It is a barn aisle, technically. Just come right over here to your halter. And I'm going to sit like this for just a second. Let my leg chill. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I know. I know. You rubbing on me, huh? I'm itchy. Alright. Well, that was relaxing. That was much needed. And that was adorable. Three and one. There you go, big boy. Can you rub? You can rub if you need to. No? In your head. Come here. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then take this off. Put it back on. Well, maybe. There we go. Alright, guys. Well, that is it. He's so, it looks like he's been running 